Enola Holmes is a young girl living with her mom far away from the world and its chaos. In England 1884, she was born. Her mom was a big fan of word games. That's where her name Enola came from. Enola when spelled backwards is the word, alone. Her mom always told her she would be fine on her own but was always with her. Her father died when she was little and her brothers also left home later. Eudoria, her mom raised her all by herself. She taught her differently from how most mothers do. She taught her how to use a telescope, made her read all the books in the house. She made experiments with her and taught her different sports and how to defend herself. She was taking a stroll in her house one day when she saw her mom with her friends making a plan for something. One thing Eudoria stresses on is privacy. Immediately she sees Enola eavesdropping on them. She shuts the door in her face. On her 16th birthday, she woke up and found her mother gone. She left some gifts with Mrs. Lane to give to her when she wakes up. Currently, Enola is on her way to fetch her brothers. When her brothers stepped out of the train, they didn't recognize her and walked past her. Enola calls them back and introduces herself. Mycroft Holmes, the eldest, isn't happy seeing her sister in her current state. He asks her why she looks messy and doesn't have her hat and gloves on. Enola says she doesn't feel comfortable putting those things on. Sherlock, on the other hand, cares less about it. Mycroft is extremely shocked to see the house in a great mess. He heads to Eudoria's bedroom and complains about everything there while Sherlock watches her things closely to see if she was kidnapped. Sherlock is a detective and very good at his work. Some days passed. Mycroft decides to take Enola to an all-girls boarding school. Enola doesn't want to leave the house. She exchanges words with Miss Harrison, the principal of the school, and she slaps her. Enola goes begging Sherlock to make her his ward, but there's nothing he can do because Eudoria left her in Mycroft's care. At night, she goes through the present her mom left on her birthday. She finds a piece of paper with some words written on it. When she solves it, it comes out as Enola. Look in my chrysanthemums. She heads to her room to look for what her mom has for her. She sees a chrysanthemum she painted and finds an envelope filled with money behind it. She then decides to go after her mom. She disguises herself and boards the train without anyone recognizing her. Mycroft goes to her room to take her to the boarding school and realizes she has left the house. On the train, Enola meets the Marquis of Basilweather, Lord Tewkesbury. He is also leaving his home because of some problems he's facing. Enola leaves him in the carriage to avoid getting herself into trouble, just like her mom told her not to get distracted from what she wants by anyone, especially men. She turns back when she hears the young man screaming for help. When she gets to the carriage, she sees a man trying to push Tewkesbury out of the train. Enola hits the man with his walking stick and pulls Tewkesbury back onto the train. Now Enola has taken it upon herself to protect him at all cost. She takes him outside the train and jumps off with him when the man sees them. Back in the Holmes house, Mrs. Lane tells Sherlock to look for his sister because she has a good heart but doesn't know much about the world. Sherlock says that is Mycroft's responsibility and not his but Mrs. Lane reminds him of Enola's kind heart and how she's more like him. At night, Enola and Tewkesbury set fire and prepare something to eat. They later tell each other why they left their homes. Tewkesbury's family wanted him to join the army just like his uncle did but it wasn't something he was interested in. Enola on the other hand left home because she didn't want to go to boarding school. They are both going to London. Tewkesbury wants them to stick together but Enola has other plans so she tells him they will separate when they get to London. She spends the rest of the night cutting Tewkesbury's hair. The next day when they get to London, they go their separate ways. The London Enola imagined isn't what she's seeing. To make it difficult for her brothers to find her, she decides to change her appearance. News spread everywhere that Tewkesbury has gone missing. Sherlock was assigned the case to find him but he rejected it and opted to look for his sister and mother instead. Mycroft has already given Enola's description to the police in London so they find her. Nonetheless, he insists he'll do his own search. Enola changes her appearance totally and asks the shop owner to take her to a place to stay for a while. In her room, she sends her mom coded messages in such a way that only she can arrange and read. She then publishes it in several newspapers which her mom always reads. Later in the day, she goes to the place where her mom always addresses her letters to. There, she finds Edith her mom's friend and her first teacher. Enola tells Edith she is looking for her mom, but she tells her that her mom doesn't want anyone to find her because she has work to do. Just then, she remembers Edith was at the meeting with her mom the day she was eavesdropping. She heard her mom saying Ellie Houseman, and when she asks Edith who that person is, she tells her she can't give her that information. Enola finds an explosive with a dragon sticker on it. 
the same dragon sticker that was in her mom's meeting room. She thinks hard and figures out Ellie Houseman as Limehouse Lane. She goes there and finds a room full of chemicals, news on women's suffrage and many explosives. It is there that she realizes what Mycroft said about Eudoria being dangerous is true. Sherlock too knows that she has a plan. She wonders what her plans are and leaves the place. Linthrin, the man who has been sent to kill Tewksbury, gets hold of her and tortures her to tell him about Tewksbury's whereabouts. When the man keeps pushing her head into the water, she acts dead and later attacks him. She has found herself an enemy. He fights her and throws her into the room she went in earlier. He then brings out his knife and stabs her with it, but her corset saves her. Enola uses that opportunity to cause an explosion and escapes. In her room, she remembers the advice her mom gave her when she hurt herself on a cliff, trying to save a sheep. Eudoria told her it is good to care for others, but not at the risk of her life. Enola changes her plan to find Tewksbury because she thinks she doesn't have the strength to fight his battle. Enola journeys to the Baselweather Hall and posed as a widow, because people don't engage widows into lengthy conversations. When she meets with Lady Tewksbury, she presents herself as a private detective wishing to help with the case of the missing Lord Tewksbury. They thank her for her kind gesture and inform her they already have all the help they need. When she still insists, they send her out but she mentions that she's Sherlock's assistant and they all turn back. Sherlock initially didn't show interest in this case so why now? As she convinces them more into believing her, Inspector Lestrade appears saying Sherlock has never had an assistant in his life because he has known him for a long time. None of what he says shakes Enola because she knows much about her brother and can defend herself quite well. She goes on to dare him to ask her anything about Sherlock, but Lady Tewksbury gets tired of their drama and drives them out. They continue outside throwing questions about Sherlock to each other. Enola wins and he is surprised she knows him that much. When he leaves, Enola spots a gardener and swaps clothes with him. Sherlock comes to London and goes to Edith in search of his mom. Edith says nothing about her whereabouts, but tells him his mom and Enola are doing perfectly and Enola has even found herself a boy. Lestrade meets with Mycroft and tells him all about the lady she met that knows everything about Sherlock, but the only thing that doesn't match is the description he gave him about her. Mycroft then tells Lestrade to look for her for a great reward. Enola finds the tree where Tewksbury spends most of his time at and the branch that nearly killed him. The branch looked like it was purposely cut to hit him. She climbs up the tree and finds he is a lover of flowers and was planning to go to a Covent Garden market. Tewksbury's grandmother finds her and walks her out before the others find her and arrest her. Enola goes to the Covent Garden market and finds Tewksbury selling flowers. She tells him someone wants him dead, but he doesn't look interested in that. He's just happy seeing Enola again. She takes him to her small apartment. Tewksbury has found interest in her and keeps staring at her which makes her feel uncomfortable and she warns him never to do that. She tells him the evil plans his family has for him. Instead of sending a detective to look for him, they sent a murderer to kill him just like they did with his dad. As she continues to explain what she has found, Inspector Lestrade walks in to take her away. She hits him and runs into a different room. She instructs Tewksbury to leave and he does so. Soon Lestrade gets hold of her. She's given a good scolding and sent straight to Miss Harrison's boarding school. In the school, she does the opposite of all that is taught. One day, Sherlock pays her a visit. Immediately she sees him with a newspaper. She snatches it to see if Eudoria has replied to her messages. He tells Enola about Eudoria's involvement in the social reform about women's suffrage. Enola gets mad at him for giving Mycroft an idea of where she is, but he explains that he did that because he cares about her. Leaving, he hands her a toy he found under Eudoria's pillow, a toy she always played with when she was little. She receives a heavy package from Mycroft later on. The package starts moving when it's placed in her room. When she opens it, she finds Tewksbury in it, ready to help her leave the place. He puts her in the package and while dragging her out, Miss Harrison meets him. He quickly comes up with an idea that he has been sent to deliver a package to her, a package coming from Mycroft. She orders some girls to take it to her office and sends him out. When she opens the package, she finds a sketch of Mycroft and herself together. Her happiness is cut short when she hears the sound of her carriage. Enola and Tewksbury escape with it. On their way, Enola decides to go to Basil with her on how to find his uncle, because she thinks he is the one wishing for his death so that he can take his position afterwards. When they arrive at the hall, Linthrin attacks them. Enola tries stopping him, but he smashes her head with his gun. Tewksbury attacks him. He knocks Tewksbury down and strangles him to death. Enola awakes remembering some words of encouragement her mom gave her when she was little. Straight away, she pulls Linthrin's leg and he slips and hits his head. 
Enola presses him to tell her who he's working for. He gladly says England and dies. Just when they taught all is over, Tewksbury's grandmother, the Dowager, appears. She explains that he doesn't want Tewksbury to stand by the reform bill because she doesn't want any change in England's laws. She then shoots his grandson in the chest and attempts to do same to Enola, but unfortunately, the bullets were out. Some minutes later, Tewksbury wakes up and shows Enola a breastplate he placed in his shirt when Lentern was attacking them. Fear, shame, and shock engulfs his grandmother as she sees her time is over. Later, Sherlock goes to Lestrade's office to inform him about the Dowager's intentions to kill Tewksbury. He explains further that she wants his younger son to take a seat in the Lords because she knows he won't accept any reform bills. To his surprise, Lestrade reveals to him Enola has told him everything already. At the end of the movie, the reform bill passes. Sherlock takes Enola as his ward and Eudoria comes to see Enola and apologizes and explains that she left because she wanted a better world for her to live in. Enola then decides to be a detective and a finder of lost souls. 